If you're not the things that you can objectify, then who are you? You can have a relationship to those objects, your body, mind, and emotions, without being bound to them. So the soul awakening begins, it starts to begin in higher brain living early in the process too. It starts to begin in this because one of the things that happens when we wake up the brain and wake up the mind, the subject starts to release out because the lower brain fear response, the anxiety is dissipating. The anxiety keeps the ego, keeps the interiority locked into, embedded in its environment. So it's like it's in this reactive fight with everything around it and it can't see itself out of it. And once we move into the soul awakening, there's a separation I call subject release. That's the beginning of starting to find the soul. The subject starts to release out of its embeddedness in the environment. And once it starts to continues that release out of it, it starts to realize that it has a certain release out of our own body mind. And it starts to feel as though it is still in relationship to the body, the body mind, the gross body mind that's alive on this planet at this time, it starts to feel in relationship to it, but not in exclusive identity with it. It starts to feel in relationship to the personality and that there's something that endures, but not an exclusive relationship to it. And so the time and this, the, the soul, and this is consistent in many of the world's wisdom traditions, the soul is something that continues on in time. And you start having a felt sense of that. There's something in me that still has individuation. See, understand this. There's something in me that is still individualized that when this body-mind drops, something about that individual will carry on in time. And as Augustine said, time is of the soul. And I'm convinced he was signaling this same concept. Not of the kingdom, not of the I am, time is of the soul. Because the soul is eternal in the sense that it goes on forever in time. Potentially. So there's a sense of something in us that endures, that goes on. And we start to cultivate a relationship to that. And that transcends and includes the ego identification. And that soul starts to become our interiority. And as the ego starts to grow vertically in evolution until it becomes the authentic self, the soul starts to inform it more and more and more as the interior of that exterior vehicle, the authentic self in space-time. 